from the Fremont Street Experience in downtown Las Vegas, it's FSE Live with your host, Jeff Victor. So, you know, we call this FSE Live, obviously a nod to Fremont Street Experience, but uh, hey, I live here, I work here, and I walk around, uh, you know, through my day eating lunch and so on and so forth. And the cool thing about living in an urban environment is that you run into friends and coworkers and constituents, and we end up calling each other neighbors. And so we, we really thought it important that we make part of this show a segment where you can meet the neighbors. And so we're gonna do just that. In fact, we've got a neighbor that is just getting ready to move in here permanently. This is a gentleman who, like so many down here, is putting his own cash and his own time and investing in the experience that is downtown. I can't make this up. This guy is a cartoon character bigger than life and I know he'll forgive me for saying that. Please welcome Big Daddy Carlos. How you doing, sir? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, brother. So, uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. A term of endearment, absolutely. Well, hey, I if I, you know, we've known each other for a while. Absolutely, and I'm, absolutely. Listen, man, I'm thrilled. You, you, you've been down here. You've been active in, in a very big way. Over the last and now four or five you're, years. Yeah, and now you're doubling and tripling down, and, and you're getting ready to open a, a, a new joint. And so before we get to that, though, give us a little bit of your history. You're, uh, you're an established restaurateur uh, from Southern California. Los Angeles, uh, Hollywood, California, to be exact, but also I'm a Las Vegas native. Yep. Uh, my aunt moved out here in the early 70s, so I would spend weekends and vacations, and I consider Las Vegas my second city. Uh, good for you. I kind of grew up on the streets of Hollywood making my bones uh, in the nightclub business in the 80s and 90s and so forth, along with my wife, and over a 20-year period, owned some of the largest nightclubs, restaurants, and uh, music venues, arguably in the history of L.A. And that kind of parlayed into the subculture of what we do, which is making subculture become culture. And since we're the catalyst for putting our money where our mouth is, we take pride in the concept and taking it to the next level and being hands-on in everything we do. With that said, to make a long story short, being part of Las Vegas and being part of the culture of Las Vegas, we were fortunate enough to team up with Terry Cotto, who's our partner, uh, who owns Binions and Four Queens, a few years back, and together we uh, started working on a lot of projects. And one of those projects was the 601 Fremont building. Which now, we're we, talking about, when you say that, we're talking about Fremont East, which... Yes. Uh, is uh, a continuation essentially it's, it's the same. Uh, of Fremont Street experience, it's the, but it's it's a little it's a little different vibe down there, well, isn't it? The analogy would be that it's the uh, same different side of the same coin, and if you have what's kind of an old school glitz entertainment factor here, you have more of a rock and roll bar lounge kind of art feel, uh, which is the next block over. So the synergy is amazing, actually. They completely complement each other, and what we're doing is we're all about entertainment. And we're all about creating the magic. And, and with everything that's happening downtown, we're just we're bringing the glitz in what we do. Okay. We're, we're giving people more of a reason to come down uh, with the venues that we're doing and to experience the essence of what Las Vegas is truly about, which is downtown. Yeah, so, you know, what, what's really cool about what you said earlier about the two sides of the same coin is, you know, sometimes when people are in from out of town, they want to know where the local's going, especially late, late at night. And what happens here in Vegas is when there are casino workers that spend their day in a casino. Absolutely. Right? The last place they want to go after work is another casino. So they exactly. go down to this hip vibe called Fremont East, and you've got a big joint. 601 is a really big joint for you. Uh, and, and so uh, you're gonna you're gonna cut it up a little bit and uh, you're gonna you're gonna divide it up into multiple Yeah, it, the whole concept will be an entertainment plaza, if you will. And it's extremely exciting because the magnitude of what's going to happen with the partners involved. For example, the first locations are on the bottom floor. It's 14,000 square feet. It's two venues. The first venue is the Fremont Country Club, which will be a world premiere music venue. Uh, what's exciting about this is our partners, Michael Chug, along with myself and Terry Cottle, my wife and our other close uh, resources and our people that come together with us. But Michael Chug is arguably the largest promoter in the business. He single-handedly uh, beat out AEG and Live Nation by Polestar. So he runs all of Australia, Asia Minor, Great Britain, and Europe, and now he will be coming to downtown Las Vegas. You know what's so cool about that is that Vegas was built on uh, music and entertainment Thank and you. stuff. 
and and yet it uh, it kind of got lost through the well, years. Well, we're, so, br we're bringing it back. Well, you know, so Fremont Street Experience brings it back and brings it back absolutely, absolutely. free. Uh, you just met uh, Jay Bowen, who, who, who you know, and and now you're adding yet another joint with with live music. I mean, it's uh, it's an art that shouldn't be as rare as it is well, in Las Vegas. There's certain things that uh, never go out of style. Okay, music venues, great bar lounges, casinos, restaurants. These are things that will always stand the test of time if they're done correctly. The great thing about Fremont Country Club is the caliber of acts we're going to have. Yeah. I mean, for example, Michael Chugg is booking everybody from Coldplay to the Stones, to Elvis Costello, to Keith Urban. I mean, that's the kind of caliber of what's going to be happening at Fremont Country Club. Now, in conjunction with Fremont Country Club, the next location over is called the Backstage Bar. And our partners in the Backstage Bar are DJ Lethal from Lib Biscuit and House of Pain, and DJ Scotty Boy, who's the number two DJ in the world, and a Vegas native and a Vegas resident and has iconic status as well. So now the analogy I would give you would be if it, kind of more of a subcultural, hipper version of uh, House of Blues and Foundation Room, but downtown. So the two will feed off each other. You have the Fremont Country Club that would you know, have regular shows, go from like an 8 to 12 scenario. Afterwards, the jam sessions, the late night shows and so forth, next door. Right. And they feed off each other and it's just gonna create a synergy that is not only going to be part of this whole symbiotic energy, but is going to be absolutely amazing along with the festivals that we're going to be doing in the parking lot, right. along with the radio station on the second floor and the TV production studio on the third floor. So this has been three to four years in the making. It's not something that we just kind of like, you know. No, and so like you just said, three to four years in the making and your appearance here tonight is no coincidence. We had you on because you're just getting ready to pop champagne. And absolutely, so absolutely. Uh, at, at what point do you think folks uh, are going to be able to come down and well, see it. We'll have a soft opening in the next couple weeks. Yeah, great. And what we'll do is uh, most likely with the Backstage Bar and Billiards, it'll be open to the public at the end of November. And Fremont Country Club will be open roughly a month or two after that. We're taking our time. It has to be perfect. You know, you can't rush art. Right. And we do things right, and we make sure everything is the way it has to be. And it'll be well worth the wait. And when it does happen, once again, it's just going to be an amazing compliment to what's happening downtown bringing people to where Vegas started and making the old classics new kings. Oh, you know, man. That's what it's all about. Well, thank you so much for uh, bringing your energy and your, your creativity to, to downtown. Uh, I, I'm sure that the, the folks that are watching this are going to make a special trip to come down and see your new joint on Fremont East. Stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break.